Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I have a beautiful card for you. I am featuring the Build a Flower collection by Altenew and this is Poinsettia which is perfect for Christmas and uh, this is a layering set so you get uh, many different layers to stamp one on top of the other to create a beautiful Poinsettia and there is also a matching die. So at the back of the packaging you will find a guide on how you can line up the stamps and by the way with this specific stamp set you will have no trouble at all it's super easy to layer everything one on top of the other you will easily get perfect results and you will end up with a beautiful flower quite big which is going to be perfect for a focal point on top of your cards I will start by stamping first the outline which is going to help me layer everything later on now I want to end up with two flowers since I'm planning to add some dimension on my card and that's why I will uh, go ahead and do everything twice. And I'm not going to move this outline stamp from my misty door. I am going to need that later on so I'll just uh, rotate my misty and start working from the other side. Now I'm going to grab the first layering stamp which is the solid one. And I'm going to stamp this with uh, Ruby Red by Altenew. And since I'm working on two different flowers, I'm going to take this uh, paper off and bring in the second one, stamp again the first layer. And uh, I got a great impression from the first time. So now I'm going to use the second layer and instead of using a darker shade of red, I'm going to use the exact same one, but it is going to look darker since it's going to stamp on top of the previous color. Now I am going to move on to the third layer of my flower there. And this time I'm going to use an even darker shade of red and that's Grapevine by Altenew again, which is going to give a, a darker shadow on my flower and it's going to make it look even more realistic. To complete the flower, there are two more stamps for the center, which you need to layer one on top of the other. So I am stamping the first one with Warm Sunshine and then I will move on and stamp the second one with Paper Bag. Now remember that I haven't uh, moved the outline stamp from the misty door at all so now I can stamp again on top of my paper and it's going to stay uh, directly on top of the black lines. I'm going to stamp with uh, Versamarking and then I'm going to apply some uh, gold embossing powder. I am doing that just because I want to give my flowers a more festive look since I'm going for a Christmas card. I have heat set my embossing powder and you can see how gorgeous the flower looks now. I have also used the matching dies to cut out both my flowers and now as I want to create some uh, dimension for the flower and to give it more bulk on top of my card, I am using my scissors and I'm going to cut out only the inside layer of the flower. So I'm just following the lines there, just deciding, trying to decide which petals I want for the upper layer. And I'm not going to throw anything away, I'm going to use even the layers that I'm cutting out at the moment. So you will see that I will end up having three different layers on my flower. Now I'm going to add a foam square at the back of this uh, layer and I'm going to place that on top of my flower. So I do have some dimension and at the moment I have two different layers of petals and I'm going to use all the leftovers to create a third layer. I'm just going to stick those at the bottom with foam squares at the back. And by using this technique you will end up having a totally different look than the actual stamped image and uh, it's going to give you uh, enough dimension to create a beautiful focal point for your Christmas card. And as I am completing my flower there, I want to chat a little bit and let you all know that today happens to be the World Card Making Day. And we are celebrating this event at Simon with tons and tons of inspiration. You will find beautiful Christmas cards there. And there is also a challenge for a chance to win great prizes. So make sure to visit my blog and find out all about it. Now all I did was uh, stamp my sentiment on top of my card base and I went with a sentiment from the same stamp set that says celebrate the joys of Christmas. I have stamped it with Versa marking and I have applied the same embossing powder. This is antique gold and it has become my favorite embossing powder and I love this embossing powder because it gives you a satin finish 
It doesn't have glitter inside and it's perfect for elegant cards. I have already cut out two strips of uh, gold paper and uh, both strips are not the same size. I didn't bother uh, measuring them and I think that this is going to add even more interest on the borders that I am creating. And I tried to stick them down quite uh, straight, so I used my T ruler for the first one, but with the second uh, strip of uh, paper I'm just eyeballing it, just following the first line there. So now I'm going to use my scissors to cut off the excess, and I can finally stick my flower on top, just next to the sentiment. A really elegant design and if you like this design you can really mass produce it easily just remember not to add uh, dimension on the flower only stamp and emboss it and then stick it next to your gold embossed sentiment now i'm going to finish off my card by adding some gold dots with my nouveau drops and because you can never have enough shine i'm also going to use my gold uh, gel pen and i'm going to add some uh, gold touches at the center of uh, my flower and I'm also going to add some golden dots at the center with my nouveau drops too. And that was the card for today using the Poinsettia from the Build a Flower collection by Altenew. I hope you had fun and got inspired. Here are some close-up photos of uh, the card that I made for today. Don't forget that you can find a full list of all the supplies that I used down below in the description area as well as on my blog. Thank you all for watching and see you next time.